that's Diane again. Today I want to talk to you about Aboriginal art. I was fortunate to be able to take a class with an Aboriginal lady uh, on their dot art. And when I was in Australia, I was able to go to um, the Aboriginal Cultural Center. I met this gentleman who worked there. He said that it took two hours for the painters to paint the designs on his body. He was the gentleman that explained different trees and plants to us and also taught us how to throw a boomerang. A boomerang is the uh, piece of wood that they throw to um, kill animals for their food. Uh, of course, you know that they throw it and it comes back to you. But it's a very dangerous piece of equipment. You really need to know how to use it. Um, this is a child a photograph. While we were there, we were able to see a kookaburra, and I took this photograph of the kookaburra uh, bird. It was on, sitting on a post, and then I came back and painted this picture of the kookaburra, and they said that the kookaburra bird was um, similar to the Holy Spirit in some ways. It laughs um, as its call, and provides um, joy to people when you hear it making its call. And it also do, does um, fighting with snakes, serpents, and it can kill a lot of the poisonous snakes that are there. And so they call it um, a Holy Spirit bird a lot of times. And then we were able to go to a koala hospital, and as you know, a lot of the koalas and animals were killed in the recent fires there. Um, but hopefully you can see these. So this is, um, I want to show you how to do some collage later on, but this is a collage that I did. Uh, all of the different colors and picture that you see here is pieces of paper that were glued on to make a picture. And then this picture is of their holy place, Uluru, or some people call it Ayers Rock. It's a beautiful rock, and in the morning, when you go there during the day, it's an orange color. And then at dusk, it turns this purple color. Um, at daylight again, it turns back to orange. So um, they use circles in their artwork to show this rock formation and two other rock formations that are there. This is um, Aboriginal painting that I got when I was there and this would be a circle design that would either be representative of one of those rock formations, but it also could represent a person. And this is um, a male and a female, um, and it's called Two Lovers Meet. It also has animal tracks up here, and we were given a um, piece of paper that has different animal tracks on it so that we could 
tell what a kangaroo track looks like and how that's different from other animal tracks. And in their artwork, they often put different animal tracks in there. But as you can see, they have lots of dots in their work. I think there's over 300 different tribes and each tribe has their own type of dot art. Um, each tribe has their own dialect and they know how to communicate with each other. Now after I got home, um, I did um, a dot painting that has Uluru, the picture that I showed you of that rock formation. It also has Kona and um, Kata Judah is the third rock formation. And then it has other dot designs in the background. Most of the time they do their dot pictures on dark backgrounds. Uh, the light dots show up well on dark backgrounds, I think is probably the reason that they do that. Lines are pathways that they would walk and it shows them on walkabout. Um, again, a, a round dot um, or a circle dot would be a person such as this one would be a person's going walk about and they come and meet this person and then they keep on walking and they meet this person and so on. And here's another one that's more complicated. It has a lot of pathways um, this is a U-shaped um, design. Uh, the lady that taught us the class said that they also um, use this U-shape to make people also. Uh, she showed us with her hand cupped up like this into the sand and she pressed it down and it made that U-shape. And she said that was a person's bottom sitting on the sand. And um, they paint that with a straight stick beside it for a lady because a, a lady has a stick that she digs in the sand for sugar ants to feed their family. They also dig in the sand to find um, other vegetables that grow naturally there. Um, and then if there is a curved thing on beside that sign, then that is a male and that curved thing is the boomerang that they go hunting with. So that tells whether it is or not. But uh, this is different pathways and they come up. If the pathway comes to a solid blue area, then that means that they're coming up to a water hole. Um, and then they go on along. So all of their artwork tells stories. All right. I'd like for you to do a not dot work picture. You can do it on paper, any of the paper that you have. Um, do Use crayons if you have it, markers, um, paint if you have it. Um, if you have a box, I, you can even do it on boxes. I found this little wooden box but it could be a cardboard box and you can paint it black if you have paint. If you don't, just use paper. Um, and the, it's very easy to do. You can use 
not the usual end that you use of the paintbrush. This one has water in it. You use this end because you're going to be making little round dots. So you put the end of the paintbrush in the paint and just press it down gently. Don't move it and back up. Press it down in the paint and back up. And you see you have little dots. And I would go maybe all the way around the edge and then maybe get a different color. You can um, take um, maybe a cut a circle the size of your box or use some other method to help you if you want to do maybe a zigzag pattern um, or like for this plate I cut out a circle the size of this and then divided it folded it so that I could cut um, or put little dots so that I would get all of these an equal distance away from each other. So do whatever you need to do to help you to make things equal if you want them equal. You could even fold your paper this way and this way and then fold it again. And then when you unfold it, you'll have little points to show you where to come up and uh, make your blue dots here and your yellow dots here and your green dots here and then maybe fill in the inside with another color. Just any kind of design that you want to make is good. And remember that you can use paint, you can use markers, you can use crayons. Um, just use your own creativity and come up with your own design. Um, if you could even do a story about your family and have a line that comes up and draw a circle that has maybe blue in it for your dad or for your mom, maybe some pink to show that it was your mom and she travels on along and all of a sudden there you are and put a color that you like for you and just tell a story with your dots and I think that would be good and I think it's good for us to learn about other countries and what type of artwork they have. So you've learned a little bit today about Australia and their native people, Aborigines. Thank you.